Pope Benedict released his third encyclical today entitled Charity in Truth, touching upon, among other things, the issue of economic injustice. To delve into this, I'm joined by Father Rick Riscavage, Professor of Sociology and Director of the Center for Faith and Public Life here at Fairfield University. Father Riscavage, thanks for joining us. And I was wondering if, if you could tell us what are the three things, the three key things you think that someone should take away from this new encyclical? Well, it's, it's difficult because it's a very complex encyclical. It's, uh, it's long and it's quite uh, sophisticated, I'd say. Uh, I, I think the most interesting thing for me is that this is his first social encyclical. And he doesn't begin by talking about social justice. He begins by talking about charity, love. Love, he says, is at the heart of the Catholic social teaching, which I think is a really important point to, to, to remember that justice isn't enough in life. You, you also need charity. You need love. You need a, for, to bring a society together, you need a caritas, uh, which is, goes beyond simple charity. And then he takes an old encyclical from 40 years ago, Popularum Progresso, from Pope Paul VI. Uh, the, it was a great social encyclical back in the 1970s, and then he says, "What's new? What can we? What's different today than when Paul VI was writing about his encyclical?" And he says, "A lot has changed. It's a different world." And the most important point is, of course, globalization. That he calls it the increasing independence of people in the world, and the changes that has affected in society throughout the world in, in all different countries. I think he sees very complex uh, differences in the effect of globalization on society. He's, not, he's neither anti-globalization nor pro-globalization. He says globalization is neutral, ethically. Uh, you, you shouldn't blame globalization for anything. You should blame the people who carry out the globalization things as a responsibility for a thing. And, I, and he says that you know, globalization has raised billions of people out of poverty. Uh, on the other hand, it's increased some of the inequalities across the globe. So a lot, of, a lot of poor people are richer today than they were 40 years ago, but there's also a big gap between the rich and the poor in society. And he also talks about the, the difficulty achieving social justice goals in a complex globalized society because the state doesn't mean the same thing as it used to. It used to, used to say, you know, blame it all on the government. The government can take care of it. Well, the government is weaker now than it used to be 40 years ago. It can't do everything. It has to rely on other countries. It has to rely on a global sort of system, which is not under the control of one government. So he says it, we have to approach it very differently than we did 40 years ago in terms of saying what it, and the main responsibility has to fall on the business community, on the corporate responsibility, on the, on the, uh, the for-profit company, not the governments. He, he puts great emphasis on uh, creating a new model for social uh, work that is based on profit, but also on good social ends. And it, he, he's trying to test out a model, I think, of a, uh, a, new, a new idea, in a sense, for a mixed economy of where you have for-profit corporations that also engage in social uh, aid you know, like corporate philanthropy and microfinance and things that help the poor while they're still making profit. He says this is the model for the new age, not the old binary model of, you know, you have the state and then you have the economy, or the state and you have the market. Uh, he says that's, that's uh, corrosive, he says. It's, it's old and it, it's not doing any good. We have to change the model and we have to rethink our, our, uh, the way we approach globally the economic system. Uh, which I think is a big challenge for the, the G8 and everybody else that's trying to uh, grapple with the economy as it's currently uh, uh, sort of in recession globally throughout the world. Sure, yeah, and as, as you were saying, you know, releasing this encyclical, encyclical uh, one day before the G8, uh, certainly it's going to be discussed there. Thank you so much for your insight and discussion with it, about it now, and uh, we look forward to hearing more about it in the future. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.